I'm Danielle Rogers, a member of the Springs team with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. We're here at the Three Sister Springs Bank Stabilization Project that was recently completed with another Springs expert, Sky Notestein. This property is owned by the City of Crystal River and the district and is managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Sky, can you tell us some more about this project? The district restored the shoreline around Three Sister Springs to repair the eroded banks and prevent future erosion. What caused the erosion? This is a popular site for both human and manatee activity. Hundreds of manatees come here each winter and have been observed scraping and chewing on the exposed tree roots. Believe it or not, manatees had even created openings big enough to fit their entire bodies under the tree roots. This led to the loss of many trees and overall decline in shoreline habitat. This erosion also caused sediments to enter the spring vents and was a safety concern for visitors. What other improvements did the district make to the shoreline? The district restored the shoreline by filling the undercut banks with soil bags and reinforcing the shoreline with limestone boulders. In addition, we installed a variety of native wetland plants. Over time, these plants will help stabilize the banks, reduce stormwater impacts, and improve the appearance of Three Sister Springs. Are there any other benefits associated with this project? Yes, the regrowth of shoreline trees and wetland plants are critical to the preservation of these springs. This project will allow the springs to continue to provide warm water manatee habitat during the winter and increases human safety during the summer. Thank you, Sky, for providing that information on this recently completed project. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about how the district is restoring our springs, please visit our website at www.watermatters.org forward slash springs.